Welcome back, everybody. I'm live out here at Great Divide on this uh, Friday evening. And check out behind me, the sky is on fire. This is absolutely incredible. What a, a beautiful sight, beautiful color here. And uh, we are looking at beautiful conditions setting up for opening day tomorrow uh, here at Great Divide Ski Area. I've got Rose from Great Divide here. Rose, uh, thanks for having us out here. Yeah. Thanks for working so hard on getting the mountain open for what, the earliest opening ever? Earliest opening ever. So here we are, almost the 9th of November, and we're opening. Last year we hit the 10th, the year before the 11th, so we're gearing up for a really long season here at Great Divide. Well, talk about the work that's gone into this so far. Uh, we've had a lot of help from Mother Nature, and the cold temperatures have helped the snow guns, right? Yeah, absolutely. We have a great mm -hmm. snowmaking crew. JP and his team have just put in, oh, about 10 days of really strong snowmaking to set us up for this day. I think you got a fan over there oh, that's yeah. wanting to say <laughs> hi. Who is that over there? Oh, my son. My he's, son. he's ready to go skiing. Well, this Can't is wait. a family resort here Absolutely. so uh, now tomorrow there's gonna be lots of people here uh, excited for skiing and riding tell me about the conditions and what will be open yeah so we'll have about a 3,000 foot trail open plus a terrain park we've got six jumps or pardon me two jumps six rails and boxes um, some of the best terrain we've had open this early. And, you know, those kids, they really like those terrain parks, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we've had people calling from Boise, Spokane, Seattle, let alone all across Montana, just excited to get here and get out on the snow. And, and the bar might be open too? Oh, yes, absolutely. We've got our local breweries on tap here. Um, our grill will be open, food, beverages, everything you could ask for on a great Saturday. And a live band, right? Absolutely. Live band, 1.30 to 4.30 tomorrow afternoon. All right. Well, it should be a, a great conditions. Really do look great from this perspective. Mm -hmm. And we've got to talk about snow in the forecast here. Let's uh, go into those numbers now. Taking a look at the current temperatures uh, here around the state. Kind of a mild day for some locations where we've gotten up into the 50s. It's almost uh, 60 degrees, 63 degrees was the high in Great Falls earlier today. Uh, now on the radar, nothing just yet, but that will change Saturday evening into Sunday morning. Let's take a look at the future with the future track here. We've got a beautiful, beautiful sunset going on right now. That's with that Chinook Arch cloud formation that will slowly be dissipating here. Uh, as we go through tonight's clear skies for the most part, tomorrow, Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies early. Actually, a decent amount of sunshine early on uh, here for a lot of the state, but that cold front will be working southward through the state in the afternoon and the evening. Clouds will be increasing. Chance of a rain shower or a higher elevation snow shower, like up here at Great Divide, uh, could have a couple of snow showers by late in the afternoon, early in the evening. But the front really increases with snow coming down from the north as we go through Saturday evening. Saturday night into Sunday morning. So if you want sunshine, you want a little warmer weather, some fall, get outside Saturday. If you want full on winter conditions, we've got it here across a lot of the state on Sunday. Widespread snow, widespread cold temperatures here, and that snow will accumulate and it will stick to a lot of the roads in the lower elevations. Snow will continue for a lot of the state throughout the day on Sunday and accumulations generally in the lower elevations, talking about one to three inches of snow, a few spots in the lower elevations out there along the High Line down through about the Lewistown area. We could have four, even five inches of snow. So snow forecast, Helen, I think we'll get about one to three. Now that's out in the valley, in the uh, mountains around the capital, maybe as much as six inches of snow. Great Falls in town, two to four. Haver, two to four. Lewistown, three to five. And again, the mountains across the state, as much as four to eight inches of that white stuff coming through Saturday into Sunday morning. So the forecast for Saturday, increasing clouds, decreasing temperatures late out ahead of that front, 50s and 60s behind the front, falling back through the 30s into the 20s. Sunday looking at a cold, snowy day, and it's Veterans Day on Monday. We should be mostly sunny and crisp with highs in the 30s. Here's the seven-day forecast for the capital. So we've got that uh, big change Saturday night into Sunday with snow coming in. May even be a little freezing rain. Rain at times Saturday night into Sunday morning. Monday we clear out another storm coming through Tuesday night.
tonight into Wednesday. And for Great Falls, 56 tomorrow. That's ahead of the front. And then we'll be down into the teens for high Sunday with that snow. And once again, take a look at the color. The sky is on fire. And we will have another report if you're wanting to tune in here at 6 o'clock from Great Defied Ski Area. But for now, live out here, I'm meteorologist Curtis Grevin. It's back to you in the studio. All right, Curtis, thank you.